Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Cutter Six. So today I'm going to be speaking with a lot more passion than I normally would because this is something that's just been on my mind for a while and there's so many people that believe what I'm going to be talking about in this video. No, I'm not angry whatsoever. I know the vegans are going to think this whatsoever, but a lot of vegans don't seem to know the difference between anger and passion. So the topic of the day is going to be the vegan diet does not heal anyone which i know so many vegans are going to comment down below right now saying yes once i actually switched to a vegan diet it healed this different health issue and this symptom and this health issue and this and this and that and that and that and you hear this time and time again from so many people that have embarked on a vegan diet just do a search on youtube of the vegan diet healing someone and you'll find so many social media influencers saying once they switched to a vegan diet they got this amazing benefit and they healed from this and they never felt better in their whole entire life and so on. So surely that means that it heals people? Well, no, not necessarily. You need to think about why someone might start to resolve issues when on a vegan diet. It isn't necessarily due to the vegan diet and I'm gonna to explain to you as to why. So a lot of people that end up switching to a vegan diet switch to a whole food plant-based diet whether it is a fully cooked one, a semi-cooked one, where it's also got raw food in, or a fully raw vegan diet. So, for me, when I embarked on my journey just over six years ago, I switched to a fully raw vegan diet. And guess what? My symptoms from ulcerative colitis went. But does that necessarily mean that that diet healed me? No, not whatsoever. So if you look at people like myself back then and other people that switched to a vegan diet when they switch they normally come from a standard american diet so they're consuming so many processed refined foods that have a lot of white sugar in refined salt refined oils and just so many different additives and preservatives and chemicals and then they're normally eating factory farmed animal food sources, which I am not pro that at all, which are full of antibiotics and hormones. And then normally people are consuming pasteurized milk, which is absolute garbage and poison to the body. When you put that in the body, it does not recognize it and it has a severe negative impact on the health and it actually induces an immune response within someone's body. And no one should be consuming this What? So ever, and then the list just goes on and on and on of all the different things people removed once switching to a very healthy, so-called clean eating, whole food type of vegan diet. And this is what people do not think about. And I've talked about this in multiple videos before. So yeah, just think about it. When you're eating loads of crap in your diet, that's having a negative effect on your digestion and your gut microbiome, your hormone production, your cognitive functions, your mental health, and your health holistically, obviously, when you then remove it all, it's gonna make you feel amazing. This is why so many people feel amazing when they start going on to some type of extended water fast, where they water fast for multiple days in a row, because they haven't got all these foods bombarding their whole system and it just throwing everything out of place and it just making not everything function and just getting all these reactions and allergies and intolerance reactions from all of these different foods. So that is one reason why you cannot say the vegan diet necessarily healed you. Because if you were someone that came from a standard American diet and then switched to a carnivore diet, which is a lot of people that actually do that, that have never been vegan before, they find that they actually resolve every single different health issue holistically and start to function optimally, holistically in every single way. Because again, they removed all of the crap from the diet. It's an elimination diet. I'm not saying that the carnivore diet doesn't heal people whatsoever, because there is a lot of different nutrients that are in the foods in that diet that can actually help people heal different health issues and symptoms. But yeah, obviously, again, one of the main reasons why it healed people because they removed all the crap. And you could just look at many other diets where people remove all the crap and move to a diet that doesn't have loads of processed foods in and all of the other different unhealthy foods that are listed off earlier on in this video. And what normally happens when someone switches onto vegan diet, just like I did and many other people across the globe, you tend 
to normally become conscious about many other different things. You normally start drinking more cleaner liquids and avoid things like tap water. A lot of time you'll become aware of electromagnetic frequencies and actually reduce your exposure to them. A lot of time you'll become aware of grounding and also breathing practices and start exercising and start just looking at all other lifestyle factors that could be having a negative impact on your health holistically and then you start to change them. So when I went vegan, I moved back down to my hometown. I got out of a very bad relationship I was in that was the most toxic relationship ever. I stopped doing what I was doing for a job. I changed all of my friends. I changed my whole diet to a vegan diet. I found my life purpose and passion. I overcome my addictions. And then I stopped putting certain substances within my body that I was abusing. And the list just goes on and on and on. So if you're someone that's on a vegan diet, you need to take that into consideration. When you make these other changes, it doesn't necessarily again mean the vegan diet. It could have been all those other things. And this is something that I have a lot of personal experience with because once I actually switched to an animal-based diet with loads of pasture-raised animal food sources in back in November last year after an unsustainable vegan diet destroying my health holistically. If you want to know the ins and outs of that, I'll put a link for a video up above. I just found that I felt amazing from doing so because I was finally getting all of the different nutrients that I've been lacking for so long on that vegan diet that are pretty much almost impossible to get on that vegan diet or are impossible to get. But was it necessarily just the diet? that gave me all of the benefits? Would I have necessarily got all of the amazing benefits that I did within such a short space of time when making that dietary switch if I hadn't had all of the other things in place in my life? So living the life of my dreams, living in a place that is the most optimal location for me to thrive, earthing on a regular basis, spend time around people that are very like-minded that bring me up rather than bring me down and this just goes on and on and on. No, necessarily I wouldn't have got as amazing benefits from it. So yeah, it's just food for thought and just trying to keep your mind open to all the other different possibilities. And a trend that I've been seeing and a lot of other people have been seeing is over the last couple of years, so many a different vegan social media influencers are no longer vegan, including myself, John Venus, and there's many other people out there as well that used to be massively pro-vegan and they were very diligent in making it work for them, doing the right supplementation, getting the blood work, doing all of the things that the doctors and all of the science, the vegan science more specifically, tells you what to do, and it still didn't work. So many people have tried to make it work, and there's even scientific research that has proven around 70% of vegans actually go back to animal foods at some point in their journey. And a lot of people will actually say it's around 83%, but actually that's for the vegetarians that were in that study. So for the vegans, it's only around 70%. So if it was such a sustainable, healthy, optimal diet that all human beings are meant to be in, like vegans will preach to you left, right, and center, why is it so difficult to make it work? And why do so many people quit? If it was the best diet out there for people, it wouldn't be so difficult. And if you need supplements to make it work, that's another sign that it is just not the most optimal diet for human beings in any way, shape, or form. Because you should be able to get all of the different nutrients that you need on a diet if it is the best diet for us and everyone else in this amazing world. Yet when people seem to switch to a carnivore diet from a vegan diet, they're doing no supplementation whatsoever and they're thriving holistically and there's a lot of people that have been doing it for years and years and years and years and that are still thriving. And it's very, very easy for them to thrive on that diet. And before I end the video, which will be in a very short while, I wanna to say to the vegans, I've got a challenge for you. Find me someone that actually switched to a whole foods vegan diet that came from a carnivore diet or some other type of diet that was void of all the processed, packaged foods, all of the pasteurized foods, homogenized dairy, and so on. And then show me that they actually feel better on a vegan diet and they can sustain it for years and they don't have to take any supplements and they don't run into any nutritional deficiencies. Because I can pretty much guarantee now the vegans cannot find anyone that's done this at all. And when you actually see people switch from a vegan diet to a carnivore diet or some other diet that's full of 
high quality animal foods void of all of the other crappy processed foods. They seem to not go back to a vegan diet. They might get on a carnivore diet and start to add in some other foods alongside the foods they've been eating a carnivore diet because the carnivore diet is not a diet where you have to eat for the rest of your life. Even Sean Baker, MD, has said this time and time again, it's an elimination diet. If you feel drawn naturally, to eat it for the rest of your life, then do so. But you don't have to. Just get on it to resolve the damage that's been done on a vegan diet or some other diet. Get rid of all the different plant toxins such as histamines, oxalates, and salicylates that are built up in your body over a period of time. And then you could find that certain foods that used to affect you in a negative way and you used to react to will not anymore. But it's all about slowly introducing one food at a time so you know which ones are working for you and which ones are not. So that's it from me in this video. Leave your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and make sure that you enjoy the rest of your day and make the most of it catch you on the flip side peace